people of all ages and abilities are about to embark on a fundraising event this Sunday to raise awareness of suicide. The sponsored Walk and Talk event will take place in Scunthorpe to mark Suicide Prevention Day on Saturday in partnership with Samaritans. The charity receives more than 5 million calls a year through 201 branches across the UK and Republic of Ireland. I'm delighted to welcome my guest today, Simon Forrest, Samaritans Deputy Director for Outreach in the Scunthorpe area, to tell me more about the vital work of the charity. Simon, thank you very much for coming in. Well, thank you. Why was this event, first of all, uh, set up on Sunday? Okay, well, it's actually not on Suicide Prevention Day, which is on Saturday, and that's yes. actually an international day. Okay. The reason we've set it up on Sunday is we actually think that we'll get more um, volume of people coming along. You can come along to Central Park in Scunthorpe. It's actually a, a really good opportunity to think about walking and talking. Two great activities, but we probably don't do enough of either of them, right. and actually talking is what it's all about. So fusing two very important elements of life yeah. together, yeah. walk and talk. Exactly that. Central Park, 2.30 yeah. to 4.30 p.m. Yeah. on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Now, suicide, how big an issue is suicide in this country, Simon? Well, if I was to say massive, I don't think I would be wrong. I mean, if, uh, if you're between 20 and 34, okay. it is actually the biggest killer okay. in the UK. Okay. And if you're under 50 and a man, it is the biggest killer. So more so, so than women? More so. Three times, uh, three, three times more men take their own lives than women. That's, that's quite staggering, isn't yeah. it, really? I mean, is, is the statistic what determine why the male gender are more prone to, to suicide than females? Well, well it's, I mean, there's, there's, there's lots of factors, Luke, I think. Um, but the biggest one for me, as a Samaritan, I find sure. when I'm talking to men, is that men struggle to talk about their feelings. Okay. They really struggle to talk about difficult things in their lives. They bottle things up. And unfortunately, that can mean that when they do something about it, in fact, it is taking their own lives, okay. which okay. is obviously the ultimate thing for you to do to escape the world. But it's got to be really, really bad for you if, to take your own life. If it's, someone is experiencing difficulties, yeah. what advice, as someone working for the charity, what would you give? Right, well, I mean, they, the important thing is is to talk about it. Um, openly. Uh, yeah, especially if you're a yes. man. Well, when, you, when openly might be really difficult. Okay. I mean, one of the special things about the Samaritans is that if you talk to us, we don't share it with anybody outside the Samaritans. Okay. And that's more or less whatever you talk about. Of course. And most of the people who call us, they don't, they don't give us their names, we don't know who they are, so they're assured mm. of confidence. And that will help people, won't they, in you know, the Arab need that confidential service where people can be purely anonymous uh, and absolutely. come to you at a time when they need it. Absolutely. I mean, people have got some diff difficult things to talk about, but maybe they feel weak. Maybe they feel they should be stronger and not have these challenges in their head. By actually ringing us at the Samaritans, they know that they're not going to be judged. Fantastic. And we really don't judge anybody Fantastic. who calls us. They will know that we will listen to them very carefully. Yeah, for as long as it's needed. For now, to keep the needed. charity running, Simon, yeah. you're looking for volunteers. So how can people pledge some of their free time okay. to get involved with the well, charity? Well, thanks, Luke, because that's a good opportunity. Uh, around around this area, we've got Hull Branch, we've got Scunthorpe Branch, and we've got Grimsby Branch. Okay. I come from uh, Scunthorpe Branch. We all need volunteers. We talk to people nationally, but the important thing is that we get together in our branches. Okay. And each of those branches is looking for volunteers all of the time. To man the branches yeah. in the respective areas yeah. in our region. Absolutely. We always have two people working together okay. because we really believe in supporting each other. It can be very difficult listening to the stories that people have about their lives and the challenges. So we really make sure that anybody who's a volunteer gets lots of support from the organisation. We also give a great training programme as well which is excellent. I mean, I was talking to one of our recent uh, volunteers on Saturday about this, and they said it was brilliant, and that's the word they used. And I think it is So people brilliant. can receive comprehensive training to feel fully Absolutely. versed with, with the role which they would undertake as a volunteer with the charity. And then they're supported in that role, always. Even when they're experienced, they're always supported. Fantastic. And the best way to become a volunteer or to look into it is to actually look in our website. Okay. So I would just say go into a search engine, put in Samaritans and volunteering, and it will be absolutely at the top. You won't go anywhere else. Very quickly, yeah. what is the telephone number people can ring the Samaritans on? Right, 
If you've got a problem, ring us on 116 123, absolutely free from any landline or mobile phone. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Simon, absolutely. it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much for well, having me on the surface today. Thank you very much. Now we're headed across.